Greetings, managers. This is the warden speaking. Cromer is the final boss of the stage, and rightfully so. Before I even start on the boss fight, the sinners you bring will be important. Two sinners I highly recommend are Base Sinclair and Mersault. Maybe even Base Heathcliff, depending on how many purple affinity you need. If you are lucky enough to get Hong Lu, Ting Tang Gang leader, add him to your team. What you're looking for is normal or resistances to slash and pierce attacks for the first phase of the boss. Now be sure to collect all marks to buff your Sinclair so you can stand a chance against Cromer. First mark is on the first floor at gate number one. The second mark is little head in the torture chamber. The third mark is on the second floor in the room of echoing screams. As a general rule of thumb, pick choices where Sinclair's sanity will not be damaged. Fight as you may, they are better to face than Cromer unprepared. Remember, do not bring bleed, burn sinners. After they patch the bug, it is useless to bring them. On the first turn, auto win rate will come in handy. Afterwards, once you understand her attacks, it will be easy to counter. If you have the ability to use Mersault's base ego every other turn, Cromer is easy pickings. If not, no worries. Other egos can be used. Do not use eagles for damage, but rather to win clashes since Cromer can roll very high on her attacks. Mersault's ego is strong due to lowering her coin value. Since you have Sinclair in your squad, she will have the tendency to target him. Anything dominating or favored will be advisable. Neutral is only better than struggling or hopeless. At times, you may be forced to engage in these disadvantageous clashes when Cromer targets a staggered sinner. Cromer always has a speed of 1, so even Mersault who's pretty slow, can clash with her. Use Eagles here where danger attacks like Purify, for example. Her other attacks here can be fended off with your sinners. When you can pass a turn without using an Ego, try to make that decision. In later turns, Cromer's attacks such as I Shall Claim Your Life is a clash you want to win. So quick summary for the first phase. Auto win on turn 1 can be your friend. Always try to have advantageous clashes. Use Egos to clash Cromer's dangerous abilities. Make sure Sinclair is protected. Keep an eye on your affinity resources for future use. When you eventually shatter her, do not use any egos. You may be tempted to go all out, but you'll just waste resources. And before I forget, with one of her abilities, if you do win the clash, you get a free stagger out of it. Use this stagger to maximize damage, and remember, do not use any egos. Now it's phase 2. With the hard part out of the way, phase 2 of Cromer is actually more manageable. As long as you watch out for one of her abilities, you'll be fine. Hopefully. You did not bring any sinners that can use bleed or burn, or it will be impossible to win. The ability in question you need to look out for is Noble Purification. It's an AoE attack that will be marked with additional dotted lines with arrows. Cromer attacks between her arms and body as you fight. Notice that each part will be protected respectfully. For example, when her arms are exposed, her body is protected. Do not target her body, as shown here, as she will not take any damage. Just like the first phase, hold on to egos until it gets too dangerous. After that, whittle her down and victory will be within sight. And remember, practice makes perfect managers. Ward them out. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it.